It's been hidden away in a cupboard for decades, but a discovery in a museum in Doncaster has turned out to be a very rare find. What was originally thought to be a plaster cast model has now been identified as the remains of a marine reptile dating back hundreds of millions of years. Our science reporter Victoria Gill has been finding out more. 189 million years old and so well preserved that you can even see tiny evidence of the squid it ate for its last meal. For three decades though, this remarkable fossil was tucked away in a cupboard here at Doncaster Museum and Art Gallery. In fact, it was thought to be a plaster cast. Now it turns out that it's a very valuable piece of the fossil record. When this young scientist rediscovered the ancient treasure, he realized it was the genuine remains of a marine reptile from the Jurassic period. Now, having compared it with other specimens around the world, he's confirmed it to be a previously unknown species. This ichthyosaur helps to literally add a tiny piece to a humongous puzzle uh, of, of the entire history of life. And this shows that uh, during this one period of time, uh, many millions of years ago, 189 million years ago, that this species was living alongside other distinct species of ichthyosaurs. And we're able to, to track it, potentially track its evolution through time and how it may have been living. And of course, we know what it was feeding on as well. The dolphin-like reptile swam in the seas around Britain when the dinosaurs roamed. It's been named Ichthyosaurus anningae, after Mary Anning, the British fossil hunter who discovered the first ever ichthyosaur emerging from the rocks of the Dorset coast 200 years ago. Since then, Mary discovered many more ichthyosaurs, and uh, not one has actually ever been named after her. And so this is the first one ever of an ichthyosaur to be named after Mary Anning. And for me personally, it's a true honor to be able to name it after somebody who's intertwined with British paleontology. The hope now is that the revelation about its significance might help track down the fossil hunter who found this particular specimen. For now, though, it's come out of the storeroom and will be put in pride of place on permanent display in the museum. Victoria Gill, BBC News.